right, so this morning we're going to Ripon. We've been to Ripley, so we're going to Ripon, Ripon now. Yeah. So we've come up the uh, B6165, haven't we, again from yeah. the site. Again, it's somewhere I don't think we've really been. No, we've been around the outskirts of it. Yeah. But so uh, we've never actually stopped. No, you said it's a prides itself as a dog friendly well, yeah. city. Yeah, we're saying that it's got a lot of dog friendly um, cafes, pubs, shops. And there's a there's a website with a great long list on it. Okay. Um, it has got three museums. Yeah. Uh, one including a workhouse museum, right? But unfortunately, they're not dog friendly. <laughs> We've got Mr. Satnag telling us where to go, but, but he's, he's not talking. No, is he's he? not talking to us. So, so I can keep looking at that. So to... Third exit, <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Something, yeah. We we'll follow the A61. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with him, do we? No, he's sulking. Yeah. Taking the mickey out of him so much for his beware. <laughs> well, it to me, it's nice not to have that bit. Yeah. But it would be helpful if he'd just, you know, tell us first exit or something. Yeah. I just entered into Ripon. I think I missed the sign there, but <laughs> never mind. Quite a road, this, isn't it? It is, yeah. No, 61. We've got to turn right at the roundabout, 300 yards. Thanks. At the roundabout. <laughs> got him going to St Mary Gate car park, haven't we? Okay. Well, the next roundabout, take the second exit. Where are we going here then? Straight across this Straight roundabout. Straight across this roundabout, yeah. yeah. Assume they're all going left or something, or perhaps not. find out what's wrong with it. Yeah, it probably just needs a good old reboot. <laughs> good old switching off and switching back on, on again. It normally works most things, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not far now, so left here. Straight on. Yeah. There's the cathedral, isn't there? Yeah. So, what do you reckon about getting in this car park? No, it should be alright, why? Well, should well, be alright height wise. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> I know we won't have a problem. I mean, will there be a space? There's a peace sign straight, straight on. on. I bet it's this tiny little car park here. P to the right. Oh no, it's, I thought that was a car park. Oh, it's oh, huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge. huge. And there's a load of motones. Oh, this is all right. Oh, yeah. I could have bought the van and gone up there. Gone up there, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. Remember it for when we just got the van. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to do battle with the app. 
Right, we'll wait in the car because otherwise okay. we'll st we stand outside for half an hour. Two pound for over four hours or all day. So that's pretty good. What an impressive. It takes card. Yeah. Well, that machine takes cards. That one takes coins. Right. So okay. no app involved. That's good poppy, isn't it? Yeah. Very handy. You want to have a look at the prison, you said? Well, the prison's over there. Huh? And motones. Motones are parked up here. So I don't know if there's specific bays or it's just a little bit longer. I was expecting that to be a useful sign. No. No. No, okay. Nothing specific. Okay. All right. Let's go and have a look at your prison then. Because I think then we can walk up to the cathedral, I think. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. so just across the road here is a police... Prison and Police Museum. Yeah, it opens between one and four. Okay. <clears throat> so it's not uh, it's not dog friendly. It's different. Yeah. In that way. There's a TARDIS here. <laughs> oh. You see this? Yeah, no, I was just just looking at it. Well, it's Newby Hall, which we keep passing. Yeah. This riding's Constabulary Police Station from 1887 to 58. Yeah. Okay. It says erected in 1686 as a house of correction. This building and its later cell block served as, served as a Ripon Liberty Prison and Ripon Police Station. Private house, no? Okay. And there's Ripon Cathedral. Hopefully we can get in there somewhere. There's another sign here. Oh. <laughs> another sign, the Celtic Monastery. St Cuthbert was a monk at the Celtic Monastery founded hereabouts by an Anglo-Saxon prince of Northumbria. And St Wilfrid became abbot a few years later and introduced the Roman tradition of worship and the Celtic monks departed. That's Abbot Hubie's Wall, built by something or other, site of Saxon Lady Kirk, so a Saxon church. Yeah. Nice crossover. Mm, yeah. This must have been clean fairly recently, doesn't it? Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Impressive building. Jace, there's another plaque here. Do you want to read that whilst I? It's the old deanery built in the 17th century as a residence of the Dean of Ripon, site of a medieval college. Okay. Completely restored and co modernised for commercial use. Okay. for weddings and events. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Courthouse Museum here. I have to leave you at home, Pops. <laughs> I can't go in any of these museums. Well, they don't look very open at the moment. Let's have a look. He said from Anglo-Saxon times to 1888, Ripon had its own independent system for maintaining law and order. The Ripon Liberty, its courthouse stood on this site within the Archbishop of York's Summer Palace, replaced in 1830 by the present building, which later housed the quarter and petty sessions and later the magistrates court. After this closed in 1998, the original building became a museum. Yeah, again, it's uh, 
one till four. Okay. You can get a pass that allows you to uh, visit all the three museums for a year. Okay. Yeah. So Ripon no, Cathedral. <laughs> Church courthouse in the Middle Ages. This building served in the 18th century as the goal, goal the jail for the <laughs> liberty of Ripon, and in the 19th century as the debtor's prison. Not really see much of it, really. Anyway. Zoom, it means that building there. I imagine it does, okay. yeah. That was the gate to it. Oh, well, look at the front of this. I know. Wow. And it's got something about a sanctuary way here. Of historic traditions and buildings, one of the oldest traditions, a nightly horn blowing ceremony at 9 pm on the Market Square. The horn symbolises Ripon and original ceremony. Mark the setting of the watch when Ripon's chief citizen, the Wakeman, took on personal responsibility for keeping order during the night. Ripon's first recorded event was an Anglo Saxon monastery in 657 by Alchfrith. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you can't help but be impressed by the size of this cathedral here. Well. Okay, Pops, you're not allowed. You'll have to wait here. Yeah, you wait with me. Come on. Bobby, Bobby, you waiting for your mum? Eh, yeah, she's gone to have a look round. Eh, yeah, go around the big cathedral. Why are we in such a hurry, Poppy? Oh, she's in a hurry. <laughs> Potty something to eat. <laughs> Chinese, uh, Chimes Cafe. I yeah. thought you said Chinese Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another dog friendly one here. Wilfred's. Okay, I've got more than two tables in there. I mean, my mum had a brother sewing machine, there's alterations shop here, and just got a display of various sewing machines. But obviously, the brother is a 
relatively the, modern your, one. Yeah, I mean, my mum had one that she looked like that. It's a Jones. A Jones, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Lots of little shops here. Art exhibition. Come on. There's an old temperance building here. Wouldn't catch us in there, would you? A little shopping quarter there. Now, how much of these shops are open? Oh, that says open, doesn't it? Yeah. You want a quick look? <laughs> yeah, managed to fit down here. like a little arcade isn't it? A candle shop and quaint. A coffee coffee shop and cake house up there. Oh. Okay. Mm. Dog friendly. You want a coffee then? Yeah okay then. Fresh with cake. Hairdressers there. A little shop here. Yeah, you can open a shop, Poppy. And have your. No so you're Poppy and Tara mugs. And wax and beauty. Okay. That's about it, I think. Yeah. That was oh. lovely, that cafe. Yeah, that's good. I suppose it's quiet here. Nobody knows it's here. <laughs> no, they're hidden away a little bit, so do come and visit them. Those messy buns. <laughs> Cathedral through there. That's good. Tea room over there. So it's packed in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that little shop's hidden away, isn't it? That's really? right. That was nice. A little market on by the looks of it today. It's a marketplace, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. Bigger restaurants here. Jenny's found another plaque. The building is the old town hall. The corporation met here in the 19th century and in 1897 Marcus of Ripon gave it to the city as the town hall. Okay. Looks I guess like it a was town a bank hall, or something, it? wasn't it? Yeah. Well, there's a builders, uh, builders society over there. Yeah, Yorkshire one. Yeah. That's where the Halifax was. Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look at the big spy, I think. Cross here. Yeah. Erected at the expense of William something or other. The MP, William... I still can't read that. No, it looks like A-I-S-L-E. As Sable, Esquire. Yeah. There's a little market here. Fruit market. Yeah. Reminds us a little bit of Hitchin. You know? Yes. Which is yeah, strange really. Plate. Well, they've got a market in the middle, hasn't Yeah, it? they've got a market square. And little streets. Yeah. Very nice. And the traffic's coming through here. Post, off, post box has got its Easter bonnet on. That's good, isn't it? That's what I could do with. We're not going down that way, apparently. We're going well, this the way. That's the car park where we parked. Oh, okay. Unless you want to go back to the car park. The trouble these places get busy, don't they? Yeah, it's getting busy now. Right, so they're heading for the Workhouse Museum, I think. Another museum we won't be able to take Poppy in. Yeah, it looks quite impressive from the outside, but yeah. I'm quite sure where it is. I'm going to cross over here. I think this is one way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Short passage was known as Lavender Alley. 
No, I don't know why it was called that. Name might be ironical. Right, it says a similar passage in St Albans was known as Lavender Alley or Bog Alley and ran through an area densely packed with buildings and yards just as here. Okay. pictures of the old setup. I mean that looks a bit like uh, French Row in yeah, St French Albans, Row in St doesn't, Albans, it? doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very similar with a shop on the end. Yeah, in Middle Street before demolition. Okay. Nice pub over there. Loads of house, um, uh, shops and things down there as well. Yep. Where do we go now then? I don't know because I've lost all that all sign. Signs. I suppose we'll carry on down here then. Right, I think we can cross over now. Definitely getting busier. Traditional looking barbers there. All hallow gate over there. Yeah, so we're going down this all hallow gate. So you reckon it's down here somewhere? Well, it shows it down here on my the map I've downloaded, okay. but. I found the telephone exchange anyway. <laughs> so this is Ripon Union Workhouse, home to the poor and destitute of the city and surrounding parishes before the welfare state. Placed an earlier poor house construction began in 1854 and female paupers were separated, separately housed within the main block. From the 1870s vagrants were housed in the gatehouse wings Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Ought to be a thumbnail, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a look. You, you reckon dogs are not allowed? Well, didn't think they were. No sign, but I doubt it. We can ask. We thought about going round, but uh, I asked the lady how long it takes to go round, and she said about an hour and a half. So that's three hours. Yeah, can't live really. Can't live poppy for three hours. For three hours. No. You won't want to be left for three hours, would you, pops? Poppy? No. You know, just saying that had the look of a Methodist church before I saw the sign. A primitive Methodist chapel, chapel, 1881. Looks just like that one in Wheat Hampstead, doesn't it? Does, yeah. Yeah. Right, down here then? Down here, I think. Interesting name for a pub. I assume it's a pub. Yeah. Uh, Calendar Girls, the musical, Harrogate Theatre. Okay. You used to reckon it might have been filmed round here? Well, round this way, isn't it? Surely. So we just turned off All Hallow Gate and back to the car park now. Oh, we've just come down to the canal basin. You're, t you're suffering with your toe, aren't you? Yeah, it's still yeah, got a bit of a blister, blister on, on the it. Toe. Bit of a blister. It's a huge blister, <laughs> yeah, enormous it's blister. The most biggest blister ever. Yeah, so just found a bit of parking here. I think we're all right parking here, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. So, just gonna have a meal in here, I think. <laughs> so, a canal to connect Ripon to the River Ure, uh, River Ure, Ure, was first proposed in 1736. Structured in 1767 and 1773 by plans by engineer John Smeaton, derelict by 1894 and abandoned in 1956. Pasha restored in the 80s and the canal basin was finally opened, reopened in 96. Wow. Okay. There's a chip shop over there. There's a chip shop over there. I just found that the uh, pub there doesn't do food. That was after I'd ordered my beer. Oh, pups. Very nice. Come on in. And just go for a walk down the along the canal. There we are. Nice little view of the canal. Go on.
How far it is. Okay. There's a little boat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, pup. <laughs> Spot the Easter bunny. Pups, I think I'm going to turn back in a minute. Right, that's it for our little visit to Ripon. Hope you found it interesting. It's a nice little town. Yeah, I quite like it here. And uh, there's plenty to see and do. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really does help. And give us a thumbs up. That'd be brilliant. Thanks a lot. Bye now.